This is the deadliest animal in the world. Mosquitoes kill hundreds of thousands of people each year. The most vulnerable people, children, pregnant women. No other bite kills more humans or makes more of us sick. President Obama is offering federal support to Florida as it investigates a possible Zika outbreak. State health officials are in Miami-Dade County. They're checking out what could be the first locally transmitted case of the Zika virus. The Centers for Disease Control is giving Florida more than $2 million to fight and also study the virus. The president says the CDC is expecting to give the state another $5.6 million this week. Health officials are also investigating a Zika case in Utah. Well, now that Zika carrying mosquitoes may have touched down in Florida, could this be a game changer on how we approach Zika? Our mosquito expert, Steve Moore, or as we like to call him, Mosquito <laughs> Steve, is here this morning to clear up some things for us. Good morning, Steve. Thanks so much for joining us here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So, go ahead. Well, is the CDC able to keep up with all the new information that we've been learning about Zika? Yes, they have. Actually, we, we find out, the general public finds out about um, 10 days after the CDC knows. So the information's actually there. It just takes a while to get to us. But, um, but there's really not that much um, different that we know right now. So the, uh, they haven't announced yet whether this did actually come from a mosquito or whether it came from contact with the person that had the Zika. Well, because initially what we heard was the cases of Zika were after people traveled overseas. Right. Now that it's here, um, could the possible case of an infected mosquito uh, affect us? How can we protect ourselves? Yes. So if somebody, if you know somebody that's got Zika, don't be around them for about a week. That's okay. all. It okay. only takes a week for this to be out of their system. So that's why if somebody comes back from overseas and they have Zika, just don't have sex for a week and I think, you know, you'll be okay. So, okay. So, uh, so I would just stay out. So there is a possibility that if that person goes outside, they'll get bit by a mosquito and then that mosquito could carry the virus. And that's what the CDC is trying to control, is if people come in and they carry the, the Zika virus, just stay indoors, stay away from mosquitoes for a week. Okay, well now, we've all been told, get rid of standing water outside your home, wear deep, but what are some other steps that people can take to try to prevent spread of Zika? I know it's summer in Texas, but it's a good idea to wear long sleeves and long pants if you're out in areas where there's lots of mosquitoes. And then definitely wear repellent. So um, most of, I will tell you that in my studies, and I've done hundreds and hundreds of tests to determine what products work, how long And by long test, they you work. mean you've been bitten yes, by yes, mosquitoes. Yes. That's what he means. <laughs> yes, yeah. I stayed outside. I count how many mosquitoes land on me. I've had as many as 900 mosquito bites in one night. It's probably many wow. more wow. than that. So it was about... 5,500 that landed on me. So, um, and so what I found is like for deep, deep wears, it breaks down in about 45 minutes. Okay. So, which is interesting because everybody's saying you got to wear deep when you go outside. Mm -hmm. So, that's one of the reasons why I'm in this business. I wanted to show people that look, the government's not always right. There are natural products that work. Mine are all essential oil based products and they work longer and better than deep. See, I'm pregnant and I'm really worried about the chemicals in some of those mosquito products. So, what's can you explain to me some of the essential oils and why that's beneficial? Yes, yes. It's really, it really is. Here's the thing. This is all natural. It is. It's deep free and it's all natural. You can tell it's clean. That's why we put it in a bottle like this. It's clean. It smells good. The ingredients are right there on the label. That's what's awesome is I put all the ingredients on the label so you can see what you're putting on your body. And so uh, there's nothing you can't pronounce that's on there. So <laughs> if you can't pronounce it, don't wear it. And here's the other thing. If you're using any other products around the yard, read the label. Right. You read deep into the label. Oftentimes you'll see in there that it kills aquatic life or it harms, oh, wow. it harms felines. So if it kills cats, it's probably not a good idea. In fact, what Dallas is fixing to spray out of the air is a product that has permethrin and pyrethrins in it. Both of those are harmful to aquatic life. Uh -huh. so, uh, so if you've got fish outdoors, you want to cover them up if the planes are flying over spraying. Yeah. All right, now we've been talking about Zika, 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 but West Nile, that hasn't gone away, has it? It has has not gone away. In fact, uh, we've got two cases uh, in North Texas of the um, neuroinvasive kind, which mm -hmm. is, um, in fact, I just I talked to a guy from the city of Dallas a couple of days ago. He said there's a third. Um, so, uh, wow. but all of them are the neuroinvasive kind, which is the more serious, and that's the kind that can kill you. Okay. So we will try to follow your steps. Thank you so much for coming in, educating us about this. Yeah. Mosquito Steve, if people want to know more about you guys, they can check you out online. 
Yes, or website. You can, or you can come to our website, eyeopenertv.com. We'll have this interview up there and all the information as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Steve. <laughs> I, I would definitely, my place is mosquito heaven right now. Well, I now. just love that these are natural products. I think that's really beneficial.